Hello, it's Monday. We're back. It's uh, the 27th of April. It's rainy and kind of dreary. Maybe a good day to stay inside and get some things done for the week. We're going to load you up with a whole bunch of new assignments this week. Don't panic. You have till Friday to get this stuff done. Uh, and I need to get moving right away because there's so much to talk about. Mars code today. Dot, 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 all that good stuff. Read up on that. Maybe even send me a Morris code message. Saturday was Penguin Day. I hope you enjoyed that. And I enjoyed Pretzel Day on Sunday with my favorite snack. Uh, there's a new link down below. Check it out. Our committee that's planning our end of the year celebration needs some information from you. Um, it takes two seconds. The hardest question you're going to have to answer is what's your t-shirt size? If you don't know, just ask a parent. They'll help you out. Um, please just submit that as quickly as possible. Mr. Matt and I would like to know how many t-shirts we need to buy. All right. So moving on. Uh, thanks. Shout out. Emails, thank you for the weekend, Mrs. Brinkman, Mrs. Heist, Heisted, Ben D., it was so nice to hear from you. Liam, also great to hear from you. Katie, Parker, and Amaya, great job this weekend. Mrs. Smith, hello. Uh, Eli, Quentin, Landon, hope you enjoyed your trip. And Mrs. Turchow, very good. Baby pictures, I'm going to be contacting some people, so please, 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 uh, if I contact you, don't be alarmed. Our end of the year committee is looking for baby pictures to make uh, our end of year celebration video. If you get an email from me, if you responded, very much appreciate that. I always love to hear from people. Um, Google Dropbox is being utilized big time these days. Uh, if you want to get in there, it's uh, go to our classroom, and the code is A W B X Q H X. You'll notice down there a whole bunch of really cute little kids. Hmm, I wonder who they are. Our kindergarten photo expert, uh, Alex and her mom, sent me some photos, and uh, uh, I hope you enjoy those, too. Um, our schedule to today, for today, I'm going to be available all day. The only uh, times you won't be able to probably access me will be during my lunchtime. Uh, it's like 12 to 1230-ish, but I usually only take like 10 minutes. And also at 2 o'clock, I will be attending in service. Writing. There are three new choices. Please pick one of those choices. They're all in your Google Classroom. Go in there, check it out, see which one you like the best, which one best suits you. Um, if you don't, have, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, give me a, an email or communicate via um, the classroom. Any way you want. I'd love to answer your questions about your writing. The writing that has been turned in has been wonderful, and thank you so much. Those shark stories last week were great. Uh, rats still count. We'll be talking about those later. If you're going to put a rat together. Don't forget those count as writing assignments too. Reading, please see Mr. Mattern's blog. Um, also, all the work you need to do for him will be in classroom. I think we're working on chapters four, five, and six this week in a long walk to water. Um, please join Mr. Mattern and I will be joining too um, on Thursday in a Google Hangout and starting another book discussion. Can't wait to see that then. Uh, spelling. Uh, check out our new password. Uh, on Thursday, of course, I gave everyone the words. They're over there somewhere. Uh, chapter six is password words, also uh, for vocab words, excuse me. And also I uploaded into your Google Classroom a review of chapter six words. Check them out. I hope to see you on Thursday. Congratulations. Go out, of course, to Ethan and Audrey, our password champions from last week. Great job. Keep up the great work. Math. There are four new choices, and I want to quickly go over those choices uh, for the upcoming week. There's a uh, one assignment on measures of center, which is mean, median, mode, and range. Uh, good choice for a lot of people. This is starting our chapter 12, which if you were looking at our, our school year, if we were all together in class, it would be our very last chapter. So we're in the last chapter of math. All right, let's do it. Um, our second choice is me measures of variation. For a lot of you, a lot of that will sound like Greek. Let me sh give you a couple of examples. We're going to be talking about median, Q1, Q3, IQR, and outliers. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check that out. There's a video. There's some also step-by-step -step instructions. But I really want to talk to you about this. Um, concept, these measures of variation. So I'll be holding on Wednesday, hopefully multiple Google Meets classrooms. And we'll be talking about these uh, centers of variation. I'll be showing you how to find them. 
once you get into the swing of things, it's really not all that hard. There's two ec extra math suites this week, one about rational numbers and one about taking fractions and converting the percents and percents to fractions and that sort of thing. As always, if you have any questions at all, please get a hold of me and I will help you out as best as I can. A lot of people have been uh, asking great math questions and I've been able to work with you side by side right in Google Classroom to get things done. Uh, remember, out of all those choices, those four choices, just pick two. Wednesday, again, we're going to have, a, we're going to like to start at one o'clock, some Google Classroom, math classrooms. Um, I'm anticipating there's going to be more than one person who's going to need some help with this. So we'll probably have multiple sessions throughout the day. Email me if you want to be included. I would love to help you out. Science, check out down below. I did a pumpkin head. Uh, Shetler is planted. Video evidence exists, and maybe uh, if you haven't seen our garden in a while where we used to have recess, if you recall recess, um, it's down below. It was kind of fun to show up at Conestoga uh, and a little sad too. Uh, but Pumpkin Head Shetler is planted and ready to go. There are three new assignments that you can choose from. Uh, one is a National Geographic. Read an article, and there's some questions and answers to take care of there. That's choice one. Choice two is a video with a quizzes game at the end. And in the quizzes game, you'll be playing against all of uh, Penn Manor's sixth graders. Check it out. Maybe there'll be some our international students joining us too. And last but not least, I have a mystery Nuzella story, one of my favorite things in life to read about. Uh, hint, it makes really good broth. Anyway, the, that third choice would be a 10% summary. If you're into those, check that out. Remember, out of those three assignments, complete one. That's all we ask. Um, social studies, please see Mr. Mattern's classroom. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many um, choices there are this week, but you just need to select one social studies. Rats, if you haven't seen Audrey's Rat on Hunger Games, check it out. It's going to be a great day to do it. Um, also, if you have one, ready to roll, or you've been working on one, you're just going to finish it up this week. Hey, submit that. That's a writing assignment. That takes care of one of your writing assignments. So please do that this week. Don't forget to check out your Sapphire account. Your Sapphire account now really just is a checklist. And if you see a little R in a box, uh, that means that you completed an assignment. And you returned it to me. And I said, yeah, that's good. Uh, also continue to check your Google Classroom. If I return something to you, there's usually a bunch of comments on there. Please check those comments out. Uh, and if you have any questions about that, of course, send that back to me. Well, uh, until I see you, oh, by the way, we're going to have a Google Hangout where we just hang out tomorrow morning at 9. Uh, details on how to do that are right down below. Just click on the link uh, by 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning, which is tomorrow. And I can't wait to see you all. All right. So that's it. That's Monday. We're going to get started. Um, until I see you again, which is hopefully super soon, stay healthy, please. Stay strong. Be kind, and as always, be Conestoga proud. Take care, everybody. Have a great Monday. Hope to talk to you sometime today. Bye-bye.